to introduce you uh, to a book and this is a book review video and uh, the book is this Gene Machine by Venki Ramakrishnan um, he's a Nobel Prize uh, winner and he was awarded the prize in 2009 and this book was printed in 2018 by basic books into uh, by basic books it's the um, original book is in English uh, why I liked this book is that the author is very sincere and he doesn't hide any of his insecurities or uh, doubts or his failures all through the life and in this book he doesn't uh, tell himself as a Nobel laureate but uh, as a postdoc or as a PhD student or as a scientist who is struggling who is struggling to uh, secure a job so uh, all the classical PhD misery uh, is happening in this book and it's a very detailed book also you get some scientific information very deep scientific information about x-ray crystallography and the structure of the ribosome and how a lab in this field is um, run and how what kind of experiments are done in this type of laboratory. So in this um, book, in the chronological order, he starts from the time when he graduated from the University of Bonava in India. Uh, at the time, the author was 19 years old. He was quite young. And then he immigrated to the United States. And he started immediately a PhD, a post PhD uh, program in University of Ohio in physics. His um, bachelor's was in physics as well, but um, he, he doesn't like uh, what he was working on or the area. Uh, not Actually, he doesn't like physics at the end of his PhD and he doesn't want to continue in that area. So he switches, so he finishes our uh, first PhD in physics and then he starts a second PhD in biology and he um, barely finds a PhD program that can accept him as a physics major but then he um, he finds a position in UCSD and he starts the PhD and then after two years he quits that PhD as well um, because he gets a job offer type of thing as a postdoc who, where he can combine physics and biology together and then uh, at Yale University he starts his postdoc and after finishing his postdoc which was a very successful postdoc uh, uh, work and he had good publications but he couldn't find any faculty jobs uh, the rumor is that he applied to 50 universities and he got rejected but then uh, he finds a job in Brookhaven uh, laboratory which is um, uh, a huge laboratory but not uh, like you, you don't find a position as a faculty uh, he works there as a staff scientist for 12 years Brookhaven is uh, famous for his uh, facility for its facilities and also there is a synchrotron present in uh, Brookhaven which you can uh, work on protein crystallization and the structure of uh, protein complexes. Uh, after 12 years he finds a faculty position in um, Utah but this time he is 43 years old now and the, and the first time he gets a secure job is when he's 43 and he quits that job after four years why because the laboratory uh, laboratory opportunities are much uh, better for his uh, specific work in london in london there is this um, mrc laboratories now then it was called laboratory of molecular biology and the um, laboratory there in london was more suitable for his uh, research which is the ident uh, identifying the ribosome structure and he quits the job which was secure and tenure in Utah and moves to London uh, with a um, decline in his salary and he had to close his beautiful home in Utah and uh, cannot find a house in London sort of thing 
So, and I guess he, he began struggling. Um, by the way, while he was doing his uh, first PhD, he got married and uh, Vera, uh, his wife, was then had a child. So all through these processes, like uh, two PhDs, one postdoc, and then the staff scientist position, he also had a family to support uh, on a relatively low uh, budget. So um, in these uh, years, through these years, the author, uh, as I said, is very sincere. He, he, he shares us with all his uh, insecurities or doubts like am I doing this wrong am I uh, leading my life in a wrong direction and um, I am behind in my area because in his area he's a small laboratory and a small group but there are like giants in that field and Yale University and also in Tel Aviv and which he shared the Nobel Prize with the Nobel Prize was uh, shared by three persons the one with Ada Yonat in uh, Tel Aviv and also Steve White from Yale and also our um, author that two others were his rivals actually so there was a tight race in hand in who would be the first to identify the ribosomal structures so I recommend this book to all PhD students and postdocs and if you're feeling not perfect <laughs> which means that 99% of the scientists in the world um, you can read this book it doesn't have to be your major uh, it doesn't have to be like you, you you don't need to be interested in ribosomes but you should this book, book is can be read by uh, anyone who is doing science or who is trying to find something who is trying to achieve something uh, the English language in this book is uh, very um, how to say easy not easy but in a talking sense not um, scientifically uh, crowded um, he explains every terminology uh, when it comes to the point he even explains like very simple things in the area of biology and also it's a very funny book as well um, this is not uh, a very simple novel to read it takes a little bit longer time but it is highly captivating and you won't uh, stop reading this um, I I think that's what happened to me so yeah